raining. It's raining. Did you come to rescue me? I came to uh, say hi. How oh. about <laughs> you run the chop saw? <laughs> you think that's a good idea? <laughs> you have ten fingers. That's more than you need. <laughs> oh, more than right. I need? I think I need all of them. I think this is a really bad idea. Well, that's a good idea. I'll call out a number. Let's okay. say it's... Oh gosh, I have to measure too. Oh yeah. <laughs> To learn how to measure. Start with measuring. I, I mean, I know how to measure. It has a safety on it. You have to kind of push okay. it to the side. It's going to want to do this. Okay. See how it bounces? Mm -hmm. So you can't be afraid of it. Too late. Oh my gosh. Ten and a half. <laughs> okay, what you said something about a safety thing? <laughs> What you call a joke? <laughs> I did a quality job gluing. Wow, look at that See glue. See that? It's, it's, right supposed to, it's supposed to go underneath the wood. I missed. <laughs> look who came to help me work on our plumbing. Yay! What do you have in your hands? This. That is a plumbing diagram. What did you say about what you have in, from school? A Venn diagram. A Venn diagram. Whoa, what's that? Well, they're like big circles, and um, in the middle, there's uh, I put the stuff that are the same, and then the other stuff are different. Cool. All right. So I'm not one to really write things down on paper, but this one, this project was so confusing that I had to. We are working on a recirculating shower. So what will happen is I we need have. I shower. It's just your size. So we will have a large, fresh gallon tank over this here. This is where the toilet's going to be. Yeah. And that fresh gallon tank will pump a tank underneath of the shower that will become our shower water. And then... And it will reuse and reuse and reuse so you'll have never ending shower. That's right. It'll keep recirculating and reusing the water and will pump through a filtration system to clean it on every recirculation round. And you can have a never ending hot shower. But it's a very complicated project, and today's the first day of kind of laying everything out and seeing how we can fit all of the parts in every little nook and cranny and get it to work. All right. This is hard. Alexa, I don't even know where to start. The rain went into my pajamas. Oh my goodness. You're crazy. Tell us about this over here. That's the tank that's going to be washing the water so we can reuse it and reuse it and reuse it every day. Cool. That's very smart. I was actually talking about the, the people drawings underneath here. Oh. What are those? Me and Chloe! <laughs> Did you guys lay down and trace yourselves out? Yes. That's so fun. But look! Chloe's eyes covered up. Oh man, we squished Chloe's face! making some quick changes here. I've gone ahead and I've modified my design to have a back flush uh, option. So when you're done showering, you'll press a button, it'll switch a three-way valve, and the water will flush backwards through the system, cleaning out the filters and dumping out any of the junk that it just filtered. But again, this is my first plumbing job, so we will see how it goes. On paper, is very different than in person. So I definitely really hate admitting this, but I'm literally having to read the instructions on how to use this crimper tool. I have never crimped anything in my life. A lot of people use shark bike fittings for vans because they are very easy to use. However, it scares me a little bit that you're putting your van through a basically an earthquake every single day. So I wanted something a little bit more reliable. Um, and in the long run, this system is actually cheaper based on how many fittings I'll be using because those shark bite fittings are quite expensive. You spend about 80 bucks on the tool, um, but then all of the fittings are significantly cheaper and you save money in the long run. All 
All right, so now that I have become a professional at this, I will, that was sarcasm, I will show you guys how this works. You insert this little sleevey thingy, and then you bring in the uh, crimper, put it over top of that ring, and then squeeze the handle together. It takes a bit of force there, and then that thing is locked down nice and solid. All right, so we are working on a filtration system. I made a little box for these filters here. I've got this flex line on it. And eventually, next time you see this, it's freezing. Oh, hello there. <laughs> nice little outfit, buddy. Thank you. Do you want to help? Thank you. How about you do the rest? No. So eventually this will be on a slide. Just have to figure that out, because that's super fun. What's going on over here? We're under the bed! <laughs> We're installing a water tank. Oh. You having fun, Alexa? Yeah! I installing a water tank. A water tank, huh? In theory. How did you make up under here? Ouch! Oh, I burned my neck. Don't do that. Hot screws. Yeah, let me show ya. So much, so much room for activities down here. <laughs> We are mounting this water tank, which will be part of the shower. So we're putting in these brackets here using self-tapping screws. I have no idea if you can see anything right now. I hear a horsey. But I see Alexa. <laughs> that was me making the duck noise. <laughs> yeah. Have fun out here. We will. Can you go see what Daddy's doing? Yeah. Think you can help him? Oh, I need your help. <laughs> what do you think, Chloe? <laughs> I want to go under the bed. Okay, well, you'll have to have Daddy show you where to go. Too tight? Don't hurt yourself. Okay, have fun. Bye. Oh, you're going to be over Bye. there. Bye. Right. I'm just going to go be by myself for a little bit. All right. Okay, everyone be safe. All right. So this is our recirculation tank. Um, we've got our fill line here. We have a recirculation line here with a ch check valve to make sure that air doesn't get in the system. And then this is our electronic ball valve uh, dump line. So we can dump this with just a press of the button. It'll actually dump partially the tank through this line, the recirculation line, to back flush the filters, to clean the filters on a daily basis. And then this guy right here, it tells us, um, in theory, what level the uh, the tank is at with water. And then here is the cleaning port that I installed last night. Uh, so time to put this guy underneath the van. So this is gonna be challenging to document, but I have to drill some massive holes up through there. This is a situation where you are supposed to measure multiple times and then drill. But I forgot to measure again and I don't want to get out of the van. So we will drill and see what happens. My battery, ah, oh, my battery's dead. Bummer. Okay. I'll be right back. Ouch. I'm stuck. I made it. Not exactly my favorite thing to do here. Because as you're drilling, you have metal splinters raining down on you. And then you end up rolling around on them and stabbing yourself in the back. Ow. Apparently I have the wrong bit. So it's not going very well. Time to get a new bit. Okay. So I couldn't convince anyone to come help me. But mostly I just wanted to have someone to talk to. Because I'm pretty sure the neighbors think I'm crazy talking to myself sitting underneath the van. Trying to make a hole large enough for this one inch PVC pipe to be able to slide up in there. And then this will protect the PVC pipe as well as an electrical line 
running up in there. So we're gonna have two of those. This is why building a van is not, not super fun at times. Blech. Blech. Combination of metal shavings, insulation, and wood. But it was a lot of wood, so I think I drilled through the two by four in the right spot, hopefully. Yay! Just slightly off from where I wanted it to be, but that should work. It doesn't fit. Ouch. I feel like this is the side of van building that no one ever talks about. Hot and sharp metal falling on your neck does not feel good. Meanwhile, Heather is sitting in a nice comfy chair editing and drinking coffee, I bet. Alright, so we are finally ready to put the tank in, but this guy right here is a little bit in the way. So I need to oh, move him over a little bit. I really don't know what it does, but it's in the way. Nope, it's not gonna move. Oh well, we'll squeeze it in. This thing barely fits. It's down to just a couple millimeters, like a sixteenth of an inch. It fits. Sort of. Oh, come on. I know this is boring, I'm filming too much, but at this point I'm just shooting to show Heather how much of a challenge this is. I can't get this tank past this lip, and all of my measurements are based on it getting past the lip. And, oh, got it. And squeeze really hard. Thank you. Where, um, Put your I'm hand out really far like this. We're uh, doing a, uh, uh, I don't know. It's called plumbing. Oh yeah, now I remember. Okay, we're working on plumbing. We're working on plumbing. Well, what did you get to help with? I got to help cut the pipes. Yeah, do you want to show them what we did? Uh-huh. Okay, point the camera down like this. And we're working on making a little T-section right here. <laughs> Chloe, do you want to go work underneath the van with me? Yes. All right, I'll, let's go. I'll play who left the game blade. Okay. Because I already will. <laughs> Don't bonk your head. I bonk my head on that. Then you lay on your back like this. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? See, right now we're working on this pipe right here. What do you think that pipe's for? I think for water. For water? Yeah. I think you're right. Okay. So, I have a very important job for you. Are you ready for it? I need you to cut this right here, okay? Can you reach up here and squeeze this? Squeeze these right here. Squeeze. Squeeze. Oh, you did it. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I gotta go get a part. I'll be right back. Uh, I am weighing on the, the van. And the van is so dirty under the bed. And it is so beautiful at the top. And Daddy and me are walking together forever. And Forever, I want to be under the bed, but I sometimes I have to ask. And when you reach the sky, coming down under, 
Anna. Here I come. Oh. Do you like the song? I love your song. Mm -hmm.